Hey everyone, I just spent a little bit of time cleaning the snake cage. Didn't take too long, just soaked and washed off, scrubbed all the stones and replaced the padding underneath. Just watered the plant, rearranged that so it can perk back up in the right direction. And here is the snake in this cage. He's a little dark because he's going to be shedding soon. I'll give him food as soon as he's back in the cage. But now we're going to let him swimming around in the bathtub for a little bit. Now he cannot get out of the tub. It's a little bit cool because you don't want to hurt the snake. Now the snake, he can't get out of this tub when it's about halfway full. The edges are just too slippery and when there's water, there's nothing to grip onto the bottom. He's never been able to get out before. Let's see how he likes this. And I learned, don't ever handle a mouse first, because he might try to bite. But his eyes are not glazed over yet, but he is getting dark. Watch, he won't be able to get out of here, but I'm going to let him swim around just for a couple of minutes. I assume he enjoys this because when we used to actually let him out and play in the yard, he would actually go into the little bodies of water. Maybe it's not deep enough. Maybe he may actually be able to get out of this. I'm not sure. He seems more relaxed than he did the last time we did this. The last time we did it, he was squirming like crazy. I think he's about to poop. See his tail? I think he's about to crap. I think he might poop. He usually poops when you put him in the bath or back in the day in the swimming pool. He usually poops because he seems relaxed. Yeah, last time he was really eager to get out of here. This time he seems way more relaxed with the water. I wonder if he can get out. Last time he was not successful with getting out. Oh. This time he is, we gotta watch him. I think he can get out this time. But not easily, it appears. Yep, yeah, it's not gonna work this time. Last time he was in here for a little bit and he could not get out. And this guy you don't want getting out in the house because if he goes under any piece of furniture or wraps himself around anything, he's not going to let you pull him out. He will resist. He will firmly grasp anything he can get his muscles around. See, he's grasping the drain down there because he knows he can push himself. He can totally get out of this, but not severely easy. We'll let him be in here a couple more minutes. Yeah, he... Yeah, we're just trying to wash him off a little. And I'm hoping he poops in here and not back in the clean cage. He usually poops because it relaxes him. A lot of different animals, when you give them baths, will go to the bathroom in it. My pet rabbit used to do it. Cat never did. Dog never did. Dog did as a puppy. I feel like he has to go to the bathroom. He hasn't gone in a bit. The way he's moving, I feel like he needs to use the bathroom. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Maybe he's just bigger. That's why he's able to get out a little easier. Or maybe it's because he ate last time and wasn't as swimmy. Or maybe he was irritated last time because he had eaten before this. This guy is fast. If he was in like a pool, he could get across it so fast. 
We don't let him play outside in the yard anymore because you never know what he could find. A chipmunk hole, rabbit hole, and you'll never get him back again. Go into some weird tree. Alright, maybe he's done with bath time. Doesn't seem to be too interested. He usually just likes to sleep all day underneath the heat lamp. Alright, we'll put him back in his little carrier cage. Watch him poop now. Now that he's real awake, he's gonna do some resistance with getting in here. I was surprised how easily we got him in here earlier. No, nope, he's not. When he was little, he was, I think, way more active. That's what it is. I think he was way more active when he was just little. All right, so I'm going to start defrosting a frozen mouse, and then we will put him back in his cage for it. So everyone, this is what we do. We leave the mouse in here in warm water for about 20 minutes. Now it should be com completely defrosted. We don't feed live food because it could bite or injure the snake. All right, opening up the cage. Now it's time to get the snake out to eat this. Sometimes you just hang it in here and you got to go over the mouse and that will get his attention to come out because he can smell it. There he is, already coming out. Here we go. Hey, took it. There we go. Now we gotta put this heavy stuff back up here so the snake can't lift the cover off. And you see, for a couple of minutes, that snake is going to be just around it, trying to strangle it because it's their instinct. It thinks it's alive and it needs to strangle it until it's dead before swallowing. If you heard that bird in the background, that's a clock that makes that noise on the hour. Yeah, I've had that for like 10 years. All right, just a couple minutes later, now you see he's trying to nibble it down. Not a great angle today where he retracted to back in the plants, but you see he almost got the entire thing down. But I have other videos where he's in a much better spot where you can see him a lot better doing this. Anyways, I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching and have a great day.